Hello there and welcome to tonight's video. Now tonight I'm here at my first location which happens to be next to a, a big hole uh, on Campbell Park Road just next to the care home and across the road from the elm field. try here. Don't ask us why, I just thought it might be a good spot. I may be wrong of course, but um, you know I'm willing to try just about anywhere really to see if I can um, get communication going with anyone who might be um, around, you know, of the spirit variety. That is, I always say that, the spirit variety, I don't know where I came up with that term, but it just came to us um, naturally I think. It's pretty quiet at the minute because it's quite late. But I uh, intend to do um, maybe two or three locations tonight, if I've got time, see how it goes. But this is going to be the first one, so I'm going to um, try here. Like I say, there's um, sort of like roadworks type thing going on at the minute here. They're digging up all the ground and everything. So uh, let's uh, get started then. So here's the um, aforementioned big hole in the ground. And this will be a good record um, for uh, uh, when this hole was actually here because at some point in the next few weeks or so this hole won't be there anymore I guess uh, I don't know how long it takes for them to fix it but it could be months, could be weeks, I don't know so um, but they're always digging stuff up around here there's been uh, numerous times when these um, there's been holes along here and stuff because the road down there keeps flooding I think or it used to flood so they had to fix that as well and there was loads of roadworks down there that was months back like when they, when they did that but anyway let's uh, let's get on with this uh, investigation here I just heard a voice there but I think it may be someone in the house I'm not sure. <laughs> Hello, is there anyone here with me right now? Hello, is anyone here? My name's Gordon. Is there anyone here that knows me? there's someone here who spoke to me before if there is someone here that's spoken to me whereabouts did I speak to you last time do you remember Can you please tell me your name? Into the red lights, please. Is there anyone here with me, me who would um, like to uh, perhaps um, communicate with me?
Like I say, my name's Gordon, if there's anyone here. What do you think about this big hole being here? How do you feel about the fact that they're digging the place up all the time around here? Are you okay with it or not? Is there anyone here that used to go to the Elmfield um, Club across the road there? If there is someone here with me, um, can you tell me, did you used to live around here somewhere? Is there anyone here from Finkel Road? Do you know where Finkel Road is? If you are here with me, is it poss possible you could do me a favour? Are you willing to do a favour for us if there's somebody here? There's a cat. I think it's one of the friends of the uh, cat that comes to my house. And careful on the road now. You might get run over, although it's clear at the minute. <laughs> Couldn't care less, just trotting across the road. Anyway, as I was saying, did you see the cat there, by the way? Did anyone see the cat? Right, anyway, this is the, uh, onto the favour. Could you possibly read this sign for me out loud into these red lights? What does it say on that sign? Can you see the sign? If there's more than one person with me right now, is it possible each one of you could read the sign. Well, I don't know if you read the sign or not, because I can't actually hear you, but this camera should be able to record what you said, if you did read the sign. Okay, well, thanks very much if you did do that. Now this um, obviously is usually a footpath and it goes straight across there, like straight across um, through the uh, fence things here that they've put up. But obviously they've dug a big hole across the middle of the footpath. And there's two footpaths here, the other one's still open at the minute, the one I just went across. Right, anyway, I'm going to go over here because there's some um, power bank things over here, I don't know what you call them. Like, um, I think they're for power and the internet and stuff. They're like junction box things, like big power things. I don't know what you call them, like I say. But, my theory is, if there is any spirits here, they'll maybe get some energy from the, these things here. Enough to, like, maybe talk better or something, hopefully. Possibly. Maybe. 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 So, yeah, let's see how many there is. There's one here, and another one. There's four all together, I think. Or is it five? No, it's five. No, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does anyone know what these are called? What's the correct name for them? Anyone that's watching the video, I mean, not the people might, that might be here in spirit form. Well, there's hardly any traffic here at the minute. There's a little bit, but not much. Right, once again, if there is anyone here with me, um, my name is Gordon, and I mean you no harm. I'm just trying to communicate with them. Um, 
with anyone who is uh, down here with me, if you are down here with me, that is. Um, if, there's, if there's someone here with me, can you please tell me your full name into these red lights? And if you don't understand what I mean, these where the thing I'm holding in my hand, this uh, device, can record your voice. Because normally, um, I cannot hear you speak, but um, nobody can, I don't think, unless you're like a, um, a medium or something, which I'm most certainly not. Also, do you, do you mind telling me um, what happened to you? Do you know what happened? Did something bad happen or anything on this road? Is there anyone here that used to be here when the lakes were around? I believe many years ago there used to be huge lakes across this area somewhere. I think mainly over there, but I'm not sure. They might have extended to here. I'm not, not sure how far the lakes, uh, you know, went across this area. But I know they were around here somewhere because there's a school over there called the Lakes, named after the fact that lakes used to be here somewhere. So, does anyone remember the lakes? Were you around when the lakes were actually here? See when you've got um, things like this, these give off um, a lot of uh, magnetic f uh, energy. Like you get like a high magnetic field um, coming off them. So um, if I had brought my um, EMF meter, which is actually called a K2 meter, that would have went off the scales when I, if I had held it next to that. So, um, but I haven't got it with us tonight. So, but I first got my K2 meter um, because somebody called Chris Fleming, who is a um, world-renowned paranormal investigator, and uh, I think he's a medium as well. Um, he's on a show called My House Is Haunted. It's on um, the Really Channel, but I, I don't know if they're making any more episodes of it uh, or not yet, because it's been about two years since it was last uh, broad broadcast for the, well, it's, it's on at the minute on repeat, but it was two years ago when it was first broadcast for the first time, you know. But Chris Fleming used to be on a, a TV show called Dead Famous, which I personally think was a much better show than the other one that he's on. And I told him that as well on his uh, Facebook page, but he didn't, he didn't say anything to that. But I also asked him um, why it said for entertainment purposes only at the start of um, My House is Haunted. And he did answer us on that one. He said, um, he says, oh, I was annoyed about that because the, the net network insists upon it. And he didn't like it that they put that on the start because it's kind of implying that the show is fake when it isn't, he says. So, so at least he answered us on that one. It was very kind of him, you know. Right. Well, back to the investigating. Um, there's, there's not somebody here that, um, unfortunately, like drowned or anything in the lakes, is there? Is there anybody here that fell into the lakes? Or maybe you went swimming in the lakes?
thought that was a bike coming along there, like a pedal bike. It's a noise this thing's making, listen to it. It's like, um, it sounded like um, the, the clicking of cogs or something on a, on a bike for a minute there. Just uh, fooled us there for, for a minute. <laughs> optical, well, not optical, um, sort of audio illusion, whatever you call it. Right, well, I think I'm going to. Um, I'm going to move on to the next location, I think. So I'd just like to thank anyone here that's been talking to me right now. I really appreciate it. As always, thanks very much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your night. Okay, right, I'm going to move on to the next location now. So I'll be there in a bit. Okay, so I've now arrived at the next possible location. This one's a bit tricky because I don't actually know if I can go in or not. But I'm going to try. See how far I get. <laughs> like, uh, I'm not going in here to, for any malicious purposes. Um, but I'm actually at um, the Moncton Hall location. The actual building. The hall itself. But there's a, there's a few new buildings built, built into the grounds. In recent years, apparently. So I don't know where else is in there, but... You know, it's... Uh, apparently it's run by the NHS now. Uh, well, I guess it always was, I'm not sure. But... I'm going to try and see how far I get in. I mean, the security guards might come out, I don't know. I'm just going in there to see if there's any possible um, ghostly activity or try to communicate with anyone that's in there. Ghost-wise, that is. Right, let's try it then. So here's the sign uh, for the place. As you can see, it says Moncton Hall and it's NHS. Right, I'm going to try going in the pathway rather than up the road. There's probably security cameras everywhere, but like I say, I'm not going in for any malicious purposes or anything. <clears throat> it's not very warm today. I thought it was warmer than this. This is supposed to be the warmest day of the year so far. Well, it's not the warmest night so far. I have now entered the grounds of Moncton Hall itself. Just going to see if there's anyone here. Hello, is anyone here with me right now? Hello? My name's Gordon. Just tried. Um, I'm trying to communicate with anyone who uh, would be willing to uh, talk to me. Uh, I'm very friendly, by the way, so there's no need to be uh, afraid or anything. How are you doing tonight? Are you okay? Can't quite see where it says on that sign. In dark main entrance, I think it says. Right, we'll carry on up here. So far, I might be on. I don't know. I can't see any cameras to be honest with you. Like night vision cameras, well yet, but there's time yet, I suppose. Well, there's a nice bush here, that's for sure. Almost looks like some sort of um, tropical plant. Could be um you could be mistaken for thinking you're in Miami like right now, apart from the temperatures. Hello, is anyone here? And over there is the K home. That's the light you can see on the building. The 
a lot of flashing lights on the uh, buildings uh, around here, it's blue lights. As I pointed out on one of my other videos when I was on the other side of the fence, over there. No my like a hurry pump head on into a security guard patrolling the grounds or something. <laughs> I don't even know if there's any to be honest, there might be. If there's someone here, can you please tell me a name? Can you tell me your full name into these red lights if possible? Did you used to live in the Moncton Hall? I just heard something there. Did somebody just speak there? So, can you tell us how old you are? Is there anyone here that knows what year it is right now? Do you know what year it is? I can hear voices where I think it's coming from the care home. Let's go around here. There's a door with the light on over there, I don't know. I'm not sure if there's people in these buildings or not, but... I don't know. Not sure whereabouts I am actually in here. Quite a few buildings in here actually. More than I thought. I'm not sure where the oldest part is. I think it's over there some over there somewhere, I'm not sure. Now I'm a bit slightly concerned. There was a I went past that corner there and there was a door open. So there's definitely people in the building right now. Oops, there's my hand in front of the camera there. Hello, is anyone here? Actually where the hell am I? Oops. My name's Gordon, is anyone here? Still not sure where I am. It's hard to tell in the dark. Um, uh, I think this might be the older building here, the old part. This is the main part where I wanted to be, actually, over here. Sign here. Once again, I can't see where it says, huh? Assembly point. Right, I don't know what that means, but... Must be for when there's a fire drill or something. I think that's what it means. You've got to assemble over there. I think. Is there anyone here right now? Am 
My name's Gordon. I just live uh, not far from here. Is there anyone that would uh, like to speak to me? There's lots of stuff floating in the air. I suppose it's not setting me hay fever off, actually. There's some lights on inside the building, it's like green lights. Must be like security lights or something. Uh, is there anyone here that used to live in this house? I'm not gonna lie, there's a little bit spooky in here, more because of the fact that security car keep expecting security guards to appear in, out of the shadows <laughs> which they could very well do I guess there's another light coming out of this door here so i to be careful And here's a sign on the side of the building here. Uh oh, just noticed a camera. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. well. Like I say, I'm just I'm just trying to communicate with spirits. That's all I'm doing here. So if there's anyone watching this video right now who works here or is connected with the place, I'm purely doing this out of um, just ex um, investigating. That's all I'm doing. I'm not here to cause any harm to anyone or anything. Okay, I'm going to try to walk around the front of the building now, and then I'll probably go out of the front gate. It's hard to tell where you are in here. I mean, there's no building over there, I'm not sure what that one is. Yeah, this is definitely where the front gate is, so I know where I am now. But I don't know what that building is over that way. Right, so I'm now here, next to what, what I believe is the original front door entrance to the original hall. Is there anybody here that know, knows much about this building? Hello? My name's Gordon, what's your name? If you would like to speak to me at all, could you please speak into these red lights in my hand? Because then I'll be to hear you better. <laughs> so how, how are you doing tonight? Is there anyone here that used to live inside of this house? Somebody told me, um, I don't know if it's true or not, but there was a, a woman used to live here on the top floor. Is that correct? Had a bedroom on the top floor or something? Yeah. 
Is there a woman with me right now? Can you tell me what year it is, please? I'm going to go over here. Well, if there is somebody here, um, I have to go soon. So if you would like to speak to me, um, I would really appreciate it if you could speak to us now. Um, before I go, because I don't want to keep you too long, you see, I don't want to disturb you and, and stuff. Are you uh, okay with me being here tonight? Was this, oh, I've already asked that question, I was going to ask, um, I was going to ask, did you used to live in this house? So what, what was it like living here if you did live here? Was it a nice place to live? Is there anybody here that knows anything about a tunnel? Tunnel underneath this building. Someone told me that there was uh, tunnels underneath this uh, building that led to St. Bede's Well. Is that true? to the main gate on the other side of the building here which is actually in the Moncton village part I came in from the Campbell Park Road side and as I say this is uh, now Moncton village here which is well lit up unlike uh, Wood Terrace for, for some reason I think one side of Wood Terrace is uh, it hasn't got any lights on it just one side of the road's got lights on as far as I can tell so it's very dark down that street for some reason I don't know why they didn't put lights on the other side of the road. Is there anyone here that's a music fan? Is there anyone is there anyone here that's a music fan? If you like music, can you tell us some of your favourite singers or groups? Also you would like to communicate with me, is it possible you could knock on something? Is it possible you could knock on something, please? Just somebody walking past the uh, main gate there. Don't know where the window must have passed. I've been
been in this building before. And um, by the way, this main old bit here, once, 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 just once though. Yeah, once had a meeting with somebody in there for something, I forget where it was now. It was a while ago. But that was during the daytime, wasn't it? Night, obviously, it's shut. <laughs> Wouldn't mind going in there at night, though. And that was somebody laughing over there, I think it was the care home. Probably the staff having their cigarettes outside or whatever. I don't know what that... I don't know what that building is down there. Got another question for anyone that might be here. Um, do you know who the Prime Minister of this country is right now? Can you name the Prime Minister? Notice. Loading area, no parking. So have you got any hobbies or interests or anything? What's your most favourite thing that you like to do? What's your, the best thing that you like doing the most? Do you play any musical instruments? Have you played musical instruments before anything? Well that wasn't a ghost, there's somebody coughing over there over there. I'm pretty sure I have to get the care home, I think. I would say that was definitely at the care home. Not paranormal or anything. Is there anyone here that can see these red lights that I'm holding in my hand? Do you know what these red lights are for? Well, if you don't know, I'll tell you. Uh, they're actually infrared LEDs. Do you know what those are? Well, if you don't, they're basically little lights, light emitting diodes that are used to uh, help you see in the dark. Uh, this is a camcorder, so it can actually record in complete darkness, so you can still see everything properly. See how you can see through it? You can see the over there and everything. See it lights everything up. So you can see see it lights everything up. So you can see see it lights everything up. So you can see see it lights everything up. So you can see see it lights everything up. So you can see in the dark. So you can actually record video in the dark and see what you're looking at, you see. I bet you wish you had one of these, do you? Like I said just before, if you would like to uh, communicate with me, is it possible you could give a little couple of knocks on that door in front of us here? Please? Just like a knock-knock. That would be uh, really... Impressive if you did that, I'd be very impressed if you could knock on that door. Or knock on anything you like, really. Anything that makes a noise, just, just hit it. Right, well, I, I won't keep you too much longer. Because I've got to be going in a minute. What the hell was that? That bloody bollard thing's loose. This thing here. Yeah. 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 
Someone needs to fix that. It's a loose bollard. Actually, hang on a minute. Will you? Well, I could have sworn someone was behind it. That's weird. I just turned around there. I thought there was a figure coming towards this like black figure. <laughs> I, am. I don't know if I'm seeing things, but that was weird. Over here, I just thought there was an actual person walking towards us, but there's nothing here. I don't know. I don't usually see things like that, but maybe I saw something, maybe I didn't, I don't know, but uh, it gives a fright. Anyway, I thought there was somebody coming towards us there, like, is there somebody here? If there's someone here, can you please confirm, were you just standing over there next to that tree? Because I can't see you. I thought I saw something, but I'm not sure. I don't like to, um, you know, I'm not just saying that for the hell of it. I, I thought I saw someone there, like, that was weird, but. Ooh. When I was fiddling on with that loose bollard, I think these might be the ones that fold up. Like, I think, I'm not be wrong, like, you know, so the cars can get through. They're probably removable, that's where it is. You, like, remove them so the cars can get through when they want them through there. That's probably what it is. It's going to be torture in a minute. Mm. Well. 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 Right then. Well. Well, uh, thank you very much everyone. For, um, if you talked to us tonight. I don't know if you did yet. Because I have to play this recording back. Uh, to listen to see if you want like answer any questions or speaking to us or anything. Uh, so thanks very much anyway. Thanks for having me here tonight. And uh, I hope I didn't disturb you too much or anything. I don't mean to, okay? Like I say, I come here um, in peace. I'm friendly. And you've got nothing to worry about, okay? So thanks very much. I'm going to head off in a minute. Alright. I'm just going to... Go on these steps a minute. Right, I'm now right next to the front door entrance to the actual main Moncton Hall building, the old building. Is there anyone here? Right now? My feet shuffling. Is there anyone here that could knock on this door to let us know you're there? If you are going to knock, don't knock too hard because I don't want you to set the alarms off or anything. Possibly give us two knocks on something, the railing or the door or something, or the window, anything. Okay then, well, if you can't do that, it's no problem. Um, I appreciate it if you tried to do that, but I understand if you can't, okay? I was just trying to communicate, that's all I'm trying to do. But I'm going to go in a minute. So uh, once again, thanks very much for uh, having me here tonight. Right then, I think I'm going to um, uh, end it here um, for now. Um, luckily, I didn't run into any security guards patrolling the area, or anyone coming out of the building or anything. But I did walk right in front of the, um, the camera, at the, the door around the other side there. So I'm probably... I might be on that, I don't know. Having said that, I don't know if it had night vision, I didn't see any red lights on it. So it might not have seen us, I don't know. I might have saw something, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how well it would have seen us, but I'm not bothered because I'm not doing anything. Um, just, just merely pointing it out. Um, so... It's been interesting, patrolling around this uh, building, this... this, this uh, this area and these grounds. It was a little bit nerve-wracking, shall I say. Um, yeah, it was a bit nerve-wracking, like. 
because I wasn't sure like if any security guards were going to stop us or anything. So um, yep. So uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for watching this video once again. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you feel like um, send us a message, feel free to send us any questions or anything you've got to say, anything at all. And if you did hear any voices on here other than mine, anything at all, uh, could you please let us know if possible? I'd really appreciate that as well. And um, let us know what you heard, if you made any like words out or anything, of any uh, possible voices. Like I say, I don't know if, even know if there's any on here or not yet. But I shall go over this um, footage thoroughly and uh, see if I can find anything. So thanks very much for watching and I shall catch you all on the next video. So bye for now everyone. Ta-ra!